One of the things I love about this story is like that you're yeah, going to these interesting places on this wander project. Mm -hmm. going and, I, and I noticed that people that live in their state never see those tourist things. In their state. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know you're, yeah. you're born in Kanye, so I don't know how yes. long you was there. But for you, just like, what's the L.A. tourist stuff that you've never been to? That everybody oh, comes so to? many stuff. Uh, the... We don't even know. We never, like, that's it, like, like, I've never really been to the Hollywood thing. Do people go to that? The yeah, Hollywood sign? I don't, I don't think I've never been there, actually. I've seen it yeah. from afar. I've seen it from afar. <laughs> I feel like there's so much stuff, yeah. I don't really go around, like, the Walk of Stars or any of that stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. How, how about you? What's the tourist things that you've missed in, in life that you probably was right next door to all the time and just never... I mean, so many things. I know. I think when I was like younger, when we first moved out here, we probably went to like Hollywood and like uh, put our okay. hands. But I mean, not in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, yeah, yeah. Hollywood sign. What else is there? I don't there? even know what. It yeah, is. I know. Like, what in California, missing? they're all thinking they're like, you know. Um, yeah. But What's no one. I've always been. I mean, I have not been to anything that's in Georgia. Well, it's like know. the. Underground Atlanta, and yeah. we'll have to take you back. We're to yeah, just talk. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, yeah. The other great thing, I mean, with dealing with this loss <laughs> and and heartbreak and everything that's going on in this movie, it seemed like there wasn't a right answer, and I appreciated that about the story. Like it wasn't like a you know people are just dealing with it, it shows that that it's that's sometimes tough. But when you guys have had tough moments, maybe not the same that your characters were mm -hmm. going through, like. What was this? What would what did y'all do to get through it? Was it like running, doing something physical, mm -hmm. going on? like what's mm -hmm. your break from heavy stress? Mm -hmm. you know? um, I have been fortunate enough to be blessed with a very big and supportive family. Um, my sister in particular is my rock. I love her so much. She gets me through everything. Um, sometimes with sensitivity, but also sometimes with stop <laughs> you yeah, know like yeah, yeah, yeah. really pushing me forward and 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 so i you know thank her every day for that um not to her face but like in my head no. <laughs> you should i know yeah <laughs> but she'd be like why are you doing that <laughs> yeah uh, yeah for me i'm uh i uh, i think it's a bit of both like i was saying i like take a bath every night it, like mm. calms me it's like part of my routine i really like my routine when that gets knocked I'm a bit like oh no <laughs> you know I like to have kind of something like something that I can like times and or I can do this do that I box wow yeah that's crazy wow. yeah yeah I know you didn't know I that. didn't yeah. know that no. but it's like it I physically like that I think the physical like gosh when you sweat and you're just like let it all out yeah. that helps me a lot yeah mm -hmm. and lastly there was a lot of uh quotes from poetry and, and books in the in the story is there any like quotes that you guys that just stick in your head from something y'all read, or, you know, early in life or whatever that y'all live by or, like, reflect on every now and then? That's, like, a, a quote from a book or something. Oh, yeah, there is. Um, I can't remember what the exact quote is, but it's from one of my favorite books, The Screwtape Letters by C.S. Lewis, which is about, like, um, uh, the devil's right-hand man writing letters to his nephew about how to corrupt humanity. It's a really good book. Oh, wow. And in one of the letters, he writes something along the lines of, like, make man believe that, um, like, make him, like, focus on the little flaws so that way he can't view the, like, objective ways in which he falls short. It, it, I'm butchering it, but yeah. Yeah. but that that's always stuck with me, the, the idea of, like, oh, I'm not... I'm not dressing right, I'm not talking right, I'm not sitting right, I'm mm -hmm. not doing this, I'm not doing that, and like being bogged down by all of these m little mistakes that I make that I can actually grow as a person in the ways that I need to, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's always... People can check out that book. I need to yeah, find that. Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. It's a really good book. Yeah. Um, for me, um, there's something that like my mom has always said to me that she, she says, uh, like the way you handle your disappointments is what defines you. Mm. I've always thought that was really interesting. It. Yeah, because yeah, you can either, you know, pick yourself back up or, or, or not, yeah. or, you know, yeah. just like, because disappointments are always gonna happen in life, yeah. constantly. So you have to know how to deal with them. Well, nobody will be disappointed with you guys on screen. Well, Thanks thank for you. Thanks for <laughs>